My name is Marilyn. I'm with the Fulton County Library System, and I'm here today to make with you the Be Kind Pasta Necklace. And uh, it's very easy to make. The things that you'll need. You'll need to have some yellow paint, and you'll need some black paint, acrylic, there's craft acrylics, and um, actually you can also do this craft if you have a watercolor uh, set and it, since it, we're using pasta, which is porous, it's going to absorb that color. So you'll be just fine doing that. In fact, what you can do also if you don't have either of those and you just have a marker, the pasta will absorb a black marker and then since this is kind of a yellow color that you could just do a black marker and put them on uh, that way. Okay, so what we'll also be using will be a, I'm going to be using a glue gun. You'll need some glue, but um, Elmer's glue, just great. That'll work just as well. You're going to need some string because it's a necklace. You're going to need a couple of brushes. Uh, you're going to need a pair of scissors. And, of course, you're going to use some pasta. Now, uh, I'm using a ziti pasta, which is a straight tube. You can also use penny. Either one of those will work just fine. Uh, now, when you get your pasta, you're going to notice there's some kind of funky shapes in here. Try to get the straightest ones because they'll line up better. So, to start off, what we'll do is we're going to start painting these. And we'll start with the yellow. And I'm only going to do one in each color, so you'll get the idea and you just put some paint on there. And then you're gonna set them aside and let it dry. And then uh, you're going to use some yellow paint or some black paint. And you're gonna do the same with these. You just paint it just like that, real easy. Since there's ridges in the pasta, it kind of absorbs it very quickly, so you'll be fine. Just set it aside, let it dry. Okay, now I've got some that I've already put together, so we don't have to worry about, I have to wipe my hands off, they get icky. And uh, we're gonna cut out some shapes because it needs something to mount to. Go to your recycling bin. You're, you'll find something in there that you'll be able to use that's a cardboard. This was a tea box, and I'm just going to cut out a little piece on this that is going to be probably about one inch by maybe two and a half, two and a half inches, just like that. Okay? We'll put that down, and then with these pastas that are dry, we're going to line them up. And since the glue gun is quick, that's why we're using it. We'll just put that right there, line them up. And we're gonna put a little bit on the black and you're just gonna alternate those colors. Yellow, black, yellow, black, just like a yellow jacket. Okay, doesn't take a lot of glue when you're doing them like this. So they're real quick. And try to kind of line those up. If you find that you've got too much pasta on, or too much board on there for the pasta, you can trim that off later. It's no big deal. Just stick those right on, line them up, let them dry. This is what it looks like. Be pasta. And now we're going to cut out from the recycled cardboard. Just gonna fold this in half so that we're gonna make wings. And folding it in half just makes sure that they're the same and the same size. You wanna cut out like, oh, probably about an inch and a half, two inches, somewhere like a oval or a teardrop shape, a wing shape. Okay, I'm gonna trim that off. You have wings. Just like that. We're going to put those on the back of the bee. So we turn it over, put two little dabs on there, put your wings on, just like that. Okay. 
And another thing that I did not do was that you need a stinger for your bee. So just cut out a little triangle, take your black paint, just kinda dab that over it. We're gonna let him dry, use him. And next, I don't think I told you, but you're going to need two paper clips. And if you have, um, if you don't have paper clips at home, if you want to use a um, pipe cleaner, that's fine. Just kind of bend them in a shape of an antenna, just like that, kind of like a Christmas tree hook. Bend, bend, bend. And again, right over. If you want to use a pair of needle nose or if your hands are really agile, you could bend it into a little circle and that's fine too. So now take our B, turn him over, put those there, right on there, and they stick. Oops. Just like that. And you will make, out of any piece of paper, a little be kind message. You can put him there, put him on his belly. And if you'd like, you can even run that black paintbrush over the antennas to make them a little bit darker. that. And with your paintbrush also, dab, depending on what side you've used, if you are using the yellow at the top, you can use black. If you're using black at the top, you can use yellow. Does not matter. And we're going to put, take it and use the end of your brush. Put some little eyes on him. And he is cute. There's your B. Now, to end, you will take your string and you're gonna put it through the loop at the very end of the pasta. So whatever end you have put. Just run him right through to the other side. Pull up your string. Even it out. And knot it at the end. You have a bee kind necklace. Let's put the string around too. How about him? Stinger is very important with bees, I guess. Let's put him on. Just too cute with his little stinger. I hope you'll enjoy making this bee kind necklace. Right now, I think that a bee kind necklace could pretty much be good for everybody. It's important to be kind. So I'm going to leave you with a message. Be kind. Be safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.